Breaking, Sanctuary, California gets awful news. Getting our immigration policy under control was one of the core promises made when President Trump was running for president. Now that he has been elected, the Democrats are trying to resist him every step of the way, but it doesn't look like a battle they are going to win. California recently passed a law that will go into effect on January 1st. It will ban police from asking suspects about immigration status or working with federal immigration agents. However, this is not going to stop Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, from doing their jobs in detaining and deporting illegal immigrants, according to Fox News. Acting ICE Director Thomas Homan released a statement regarding the tricky situation in California. It boils down to getting the illegal immigrants and bringing them to out-of-state detention centers where they will have no choice but to accept the penalties for breaking federal law. The new bill was signed in by Governor Jerry Brown, D. California, and is called SB 54. It manages to make things much more difficult for ICE by encouraging the police to sabotage them. Besides making it so that police can ask about immigration status, the bill also makes it so that jail officials can only transfer illegal immigrants to ICE if they have committed certain obscure crimes. Being here illegally is not one of the aforementioned crimes. Holman explained that the bill is designed solely to protect illegal immigrants from getting deported. He went on to say that the bill turns California into a magnet. Ultimately, SB 54 helps shield removable aliens from immigration enforcement and creates another magnet for more illegal immigration, all at the expense of the safety and security of the very people it purports to protect, Homan stated. Governor Brown tried to curtail Homan's statement by saying that the bill doesn't stop ICE from operating in the state. While Brown isn't wrong, he does fail to mention that it makes it almost impossible for ICE to do their job if the local police are ignoring illegal immigrants. They are free to use their own considerable resources to enforce federal immigration law in California, Brown noted. However, he left out the part where the police would be called racists and bigots for enforcing federal law. In California, police will be banned from asking suspects about immigration status, but ICE will not be dissuaded. Should ICE be allowed to do their jobs? As always, the left-wing officials then made the conversation more about emotion than about policy. This is a typical bully tactic used by Democrats to ensure that they end up getting their requests met. These are uncertain times for undocumented Californians and their families, and this bill strikes a balance that will protect public safety while bringing a measure of comfort to those families who are now living in fear every day, Brown said. The implication is clear, what about the poor families living in fear? This is his attempt to virtue signal to the left and will be their excuse to call ICE agents racists if they see them doing their job throughout the state. The good news is that ICE is still going to have the chance to patrol California and help make it safer, even if the residents don't quite see it that way.